Comparing pipeline data models, is APDM the right solution? With several choices for pipeline data models, comparing each type can help you find out which type would be best for your organization's needs. While the standard of pipeline data model, Pipeline Open Data Standard (PODS) is a good fit for many organizations, there are many others that will require additional or different features, which may be found within the ARC GIS Pipeline Data Model APDM. There are several notable differences between the APDM and PODS model. Importantly, the APDM is dependent upon specific ESRI ARC GIS technology, while PODS is considered to be GIS neutral. Therefore, if you're seeking a pipeline data solution for an organization that is not going to be using ARC GIS, then the APDM will not be an effective solution. The APDM is used with a Relational Database Management System RDBMS, as an ESRI geodatabase model. RDBMS models such as Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server are compatible with this implementation. While the geodatabase is contained within the RDBMS, it is important to note that it is not entirely a relational database. The effects of this difference include typically structured query language SQL will not be as reliable when accessing or manipulating data in this type of database. Relational integrity is not strictly enforced despite the fact that the geo database does use relationship classes and code domains. While there are some limitations to the APDM pipeline data model there are also additionally features and functions that can be attractive to some organizations such as longer transaction capability, archiving and tracking of history. Geometric networks allow for better topology management. No additional software is necessary to spatially enable the APDM. Because of the built-in object relational structure, the APDM allows data modeling to occur via the concept of inheritance. This creates a class hierarchy. All classes at the end of the inheritance tree automatically use the content of the branches coming ahead of them. Abstract classes are actually the ancestors in this case. All tables and features indexes are further categorized according to their inheritance. This allows for easy data sorting and interpretation. Since the APDM model uses the more abstract class of categories that are allowed through the concept of inheritance, the APDM effectively becomes a template based model that has a far greater flexibility than is typically found in the standard pods model. APDM also allows for greater customization for an organization with fewer software modifications required from outside vendors. While ESRI geodatabase technology does utilize SQL data access, this is not necessarily a seamless process. Some long transaction efficiency is ultimately compromised in this process. One possible solution to this deficiency in using service oriented architecture, SOA, and SOA allows for use of various web services and combined it with ESRI ARC GIS server technology. This means you can put together a very effective system to employ web services with APDM models. An APDM model might be the best choice for your organization if ESRI geodatabase technology is already in place and used. Relational data integrity can be manipulated through an application logic. SOA technology is already in place. Flexibility of data model is important to your company. ARC GIS technology is used for spatial mapping. Blending a variety of ESRI based tools and third party applications is important.